I didn't know if I could make friends in high school and also I didn't know if I would ever have a boyfriend. I used to be one of those girls who would just not be very confident with themselves. I had braces, I had acne, and that really took a toll on my self-confidence to the point where I didn't know if I could make friends in high school and also I didn't know if I would ever have a boyfriend. And if you were like me, then these are some tips that definitely helped me get out of that rut and helped me gain the self-confidence that I needed to go from this shy little girl to someone who has done photo shoots and enjoys being out in public authentically herself. It has taken me a long time to get to this point where I do feel authentically myself. I would never leave the house without makeup. I always felt like I had to be presentable in order for people to accept me and accept what I looked like to gain friends or get people to talk to me or for them to like me. And that is just not the case. A lot of the times I feel like social media plays this big part in putting people's lives on this spectrum. And honestly, that is just the biggest highlight reel. And a lot of people don't look like that in person. And I feel like it skews us away from what the average person is to look like and how to go about their day and their lifestyle, people will still accept you if you don't have a designer handbag or you didn't go to the top school or if you even went to university at all. People will still like you for you and your personality and who you are. If they don't, then that is not the person for you. That is not your core group and you can just move on and still continue to be authentically you searching for that group of people who will accept you and who will respect your boundaries and respect your values we're going to talk about a couple things the first one being self-worth tips now it is crucial to trust your own opinion and when i say this you are looking for internal validation you are not looking for external validation you need to be confident in what you want and what you want that outcome to be. It is so important to trust yourself and your instincts and say, if I want to be somewhere, I am the one who is going to get me there. I am not going to wait for all these external factors to just fall in my lap because realistically that does not happen. And if it does, you're very lucky. Now this part is so important because you need to advocate for yourself because no one else at the end of the day cares as much as you do. And also this is your life. This is not their life. You need to trust yourself, advocate for yourself and focus on your goals and where you want to go because you are the only one that is going to get there. And how do you get there? You get there by affirmations. So affirmations are so strong and I'm talking about like the big picture. Now, the big picture for affirmations is writing down what you want, how you're going to get there, and most importantly, why you want to do it. Because if you want to be a YouTube creator and you're like, the reason why I want to do YouTube is to make a lot of money. At the end of the day, if you were to win the lottery and say you had $10 million, would you still want to be a YouTube creator? And if the answer is no, then you might want to rethink why you want to be a YouTube creator. If the answer is yes, then you're doing it for all the right reasons because you actually love creating videos and love editing. I do not like editing, but I love creating videos. I love the many hats that come along with YouTube, being specialized in analytics, being a product manager, being a project manager, being a marketing analyst, all of that stuff encompasses into what a YouTube or just a content creator in general. And if you don't love all those hats, then either outsource it or maybe this just is not for you. And honestly, that's okay. If you find that you're not passionate about something, the important thing is to say, why do I want to do this? Or why do I want to continue doing this? Because if you're not passionate about it, you're going to lose interest in it, then what? So going back to how this ties in with affirmations is that you want to be 100% 
focused on your goals and your dreams and affirmations are going to get you there because they align with that pathway to get you to where you want to go. They attract the universe and they basically say like, hey, this is what I want. This is my inner divine and you're putting out that energy to force the universe to pick up the pieces and do the rest. And as bad as you want something, you have to make sure that at the end of the day, your approval of yourself is more important than the approval of others. So for instance, yes, I want to be a YouTube creator. Yes, I want to make content. And if I find that to be really cringy to say that, or if I'm like embarrassed to say it, thinking about what other people are going to think about it, stop. Don't do that. You need to be confident in what you want because you need to believe that you're going to get there and that is going to be part of your personality. So that is why you need to approve yourself and not care about what other people think. If you think, oh, they're not going to like me because I want to be a content creator, I want to be a YouTuber, and that just puts me at a different interest than my friends, or maybe they don't want to be associated with someone who puts themselves on the internet. And it's like, okay, but what about all the good things that can come from being a YouTuber or a content creator? And think about how that would impact your life. And yes, I mean, your friends have a valid opinion because they're your friends and you obviously still want to be their friend. But maybe that's a conversation that you need to have with them to be like, hey, I won't put you in any of my stuff, but how can we work around your feelings? Because I really want to pursue a career in YouTube and pursue a career in content creation. So a lot of this goes with communication, but at the end of the day, you have to do it for the right reasons for yourself and putting yourself first. Now, the second thing that I'm going to talk about is how to implement confidence. Now, we obviously are not born with confidence, and if you are, give me your secret. We all go through insecure times, and we all still remain insecure in some aspect of our lives. How do we bring confidence in? Honestly, a lot of people, more than you know, fake it till they make it. When people have their camera just like out in public, I'm always like, wow, they are so confident because I could never do that. And maybe they have like a million subscribers on YouTube and they're just vlogging their day because that's their full-time job. When in reality, what if they only had like 500 subscribers and they're just emanating what a YouTuber actually is and what a vlogger does? You know what? That is something that inspires me and motivates me to be like because... They don't care what anyone else is thinking about. They don't care that people are around them, watching them, judging them. No, they are doing that for themselves and their future aspirations and goals. And they are working towards that, which is the most important thing. This kind of goes into every limiting belief that you have about yourself is false. So think about that. And let me re-say that again. Every limiting belief that you have about yourself is false. Try to erase the mindset that what you're doing is embarrassing because at the end of the day, if you are not authentically you and you are trying to be someone else, that will die off. It gets old. Your true colors will come through and your authenticity of who you are will come through. And that is not embarrassing at all. Being who you are is not embarrassing. So continue to be you and you will attract those people who are meant for you and those opportunities that are meant for you will come if you stay true to who you are. Now, my last and final confidence tip is to beat insecurities and glow up. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, stop comparing yourself to others. What you see on social media is a highlight reel. It is not real life. And honestly, like a lot of people are going through a lot of shit and they're not gonna post it on social media, so don't compare your life whatsoever. You are doing just fine. You are where you're meant to be right now. So I see these videos all over TikTok about comparing yourself, almost like putting yourself down, saying, well, these people are here and I'm down here, and then just making yourself feel icky about that. Take a step back and think about your younger self. 
and think, is where I am right now, would my younger self be happy? And more often than not, the answer would be yes. There is so much shit that you have probably gone through from being a child to where you are now that you've grown from, you've matured, you've gotten past, you've moved forward. There is so much throughout the years that has led you to where you are now and you should be so proud of yourself. I remember being young, and having acne, having poor hygiene, having braces, not knowing if I would have friends or a boyfriend. And honestly, I grew out of that. Looks don't define us. Putting looks aside though, we were on probation in university, okay? I was on probation in university. Yes, I was. And look at me now. I graduated from university and I have a full-time corporate job. Just look at the growth that was from almost getting kicked out of university, being on probation, to really pulling out my socks and being like, okay, Megan, you need to graduate because you need to get a job. You need to make money. Come on, girl. I feel like if you reflect on everything that you've done, even literally in the past five years, 10 years, 20 years, just sit with that, think about it, and think how crazy and evolving your life has become and changed and just sit with that and I guarantee you there is at least one thing that your younger self is proud of you for. So a really big one that sits with me for beating insecurities is exposure therapy. And exposure therapy is doing something intentionally. For instance, if you want to be a content creator, you're going to go out on the street, you're going to vlog, you're going to take content, your phone's going to be out, your camera's going to be out, You are doing this intentionally because being a content creator is what you want to do. It's a part of you. Ignore everyone else. Focus on, put those blinders up and focus on what you need to be doing in order to become a content creator and just go ahead and do it. Be intentional about your intentions. My final takeaway from this is explore yourself and act accordingly. Embrace your quirks. Think about your strengths, not only your weaknesses, not only your failures, but think about your strengths and think about everything who you are as a person and embrace it. If you want to wear really fun colors, like really bright clothing, do that. If that makes you happy, freaking do it. Who cares about what anyone else thinks? If you want to stand out, stand out. If you want to wear black and that's your wardrobe, do it. If anyone says anything, that's who you are. You are intentionally wearing black, embrace it. And who cares about what anyone else thinks because that's what makes you happy. By being yourself, you respect yourself and you fall in love with yourself just by being who you are. There's nothing worse than having a confidence killer where you're saying you're going to do something and you don't end up doing it because real confidence comes with self-love and being unapologetically you. Like I said, accept your strengths and your weaknesses. Don't let external factors validate who you are because at the end of the day, we're all on a floating rock. We're on a floating rock. Who cares? Be yourself, be you, and the right opportunities and the right people will attract. And last but not least, focus on the good. Focus on the good that you can create the good that can keep you pushing forward, the good that can motivate you. Just keep going, being you, and honestly, continue to grow that confidence, bring in factors that I talked about in this video of beating insecurities, implementing confidence, and some quick little self-worth tips. But if you can take anything away from this video, it is just to be yourself, continue moving forward, have that internal confidence. Think about your validation towards yourself. Think about the respect and the love that you have towards yourself. Everything else will fall into place. That is it for my video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Megan May. Please follow me on all my social medias. If you haven't already, I will see you guys in the next video. Megan May out.